So, I just want to show you quickly how to fix a tubular tire. This is uh, the method that I've been taught when I was first starting out and um, it's not that complicated. Um, basically, step number one, you have to find the source of the leak. Uh, either do a water test or a, a soap test. But once you locate the approximate area of uh, where the possible uh, puncture is located, I just marked it here for myself. Um, you have to begin by cutting the um, cotton strip that covers the, um, the threads. Um, it's glued on so you either have to find a natural spot for me there was a breakage near uh, near the place i wanted to open the casing so i simply pulled it back it's glued on and then what you'll find is a an area where the tubular tire is sewn in the middle so you simply use a, a utility knife like this uh, or a razor blade to cut cut the casing just a little bit maybe you know um, an eighth of an inch quarter of an inch like one centimeter or five millimeters and try to pull the thread the way these are sewn is um, once you start uh, pulling the thread it'll start coming apart by itself um, here if I pull on this right here it'll continue to uh, unthread so if I simply uh, pull on this string here see how it's coming apart and the reason I want to do that is so I can keep the same um, same uh, original um, thread uh, so I can sew it back together. The reason is it's a special kind that's water resistant. It's not just uh, your regular uh, one you would use for clothing. This is probably nylon or whatever. Um, so uh, when I go close the casing, I'm gonna use the same thread. Anyway, once you open it up, um, this one is maybe two inches, maybe 10 centimeters, two to three inches, just in the area where um, the puncture is located, you pull out uh, the inner tube, which is latex, and you find your uh, puncture. Uh, you can pull pull the, um, the inner tube out from both sides, so you get maybe um, an area that's maybe out, I don't know, however much you can or you want to until you find your source of your leak and then once you once you do that you use the process for uh, patching like you would normally do with any other uh, tube uh, you just uh, apply the um, glue on top of the area after you clean it and uh, roughen it up with maybe some sandpaper um, let me just show you the uh, the patch that I made on this particular tubular tire. Here you go. It's patched up now nicely and I'm pulling it basically out in order to be able to patch it. So one, once it's patched and you've you know inflated your tire overnight and it doesn't deflate anymore, you can stick it back in and close it up. You, so the way you do it is you just um, use a regular needle um, that has big enough eye to pull the thread through it and you start stitching it up back to through the original uh, holes all the way to the end to where you uh, started so it meets the other thread and uh, once that is done you can glue the protective um, cotton strip over it and you can glue it back on to your 
wheel. Now, a couple of caveats with repairing these tubulars. Um, this method um, is good for, in this case, what I have done is this cyclocross tubular, which is really has really good thread, hasn't been used much. That's the reason why I decided to repair it instead of throwing it out. Um, so you can do that for uh, lower pressure tubulars. This particular one is ridden probably at about 20, between 20 and 40 PSI. Um, and it's 33 uh, millimeters in uh, diameter. If you are trying to repair a tubular uh, that's a high pressure, maybe 100 to 120 PSI and smaller diameter, you know, 19 to 23 millimeters, the, uh, the tire is never gonna be uh, as nice, round and fast as the original one, the factory one, just because it's been repaired and it's never gonna be the, the same. So you can use it as a spare but I wouldn't recommend uh, using the road tubulars after repair on your, you know, high performance rides. For cyclocross, this is really not an issue because uh, the repair is never going to create uh, a distortion, uh, a ch you know, uh, a bump or anything like that if you do it the right way. So it's it's really not an issue for a cyclocross tubular, but again, um, it's your decision. Um, and that's basically it. All the best of luck and uh, hope you like my other videos. Thank you.